She is the only thing that matters. The wittiest, the prettiest, the most intelligent. How could you ever love another? You were never good enough for anyone. No. Now keep your eyes on the prize. You found the one. Opportunities come to speak to her. She's above my league. Why would she talk to me? No, tomorrow will be the day I take the leap of faith. Until she found another. You spend each moment feeling sick to the stomach because she is with him and without her, how can you ever be happy? You leave your town. Get a job you hate, but you don't care. Your eyes are on the prize. Each day you say to yourself, If I get the job, live the fancy life, push myself to new heights, then maybe she will love me. You believe you're alone. Each day you return exhausted. I haven't seen my friends in weeks. No, it's still worth it. Now one day you cave in. An old friend, concerned for you, reaches out to you, offering a drink. Reluctantly, you accept. The bar is okay. Others see that you are not. And then, she enters. She's not her, but she is there. Under no circumstances must you enjoy her. You think you know that that would be cheating. She's not her, but she is there. The night goes, and so do the drinks. You find this weird sensation. Is she laughing at my jokes? That would be ridiculous. Someone is paying her. It, it's some kind of twisted joke at my expense. Yet all the same, you find yourself warming up to her as the hours go by in seconds with each flirtatious remark and story of grandeur. The group splits as the taxi arrives. What some might call fate places the two of you heading towards the same part of town in the back of an old cab. Instinct tells you to pull her closer as her hand brushes yours. She is not her, but she is there. The taxi pulls up to her apartment. But due to some foolish instinct, you get out as well. I only live a 15-minute walk away. You tell yourself more than her. Eyes meet at the door. Witness to your own actions, instinct pulls the two of you closer and closer together. She's not her, but she is. You think you know that you were cheating. Have I lost myself? Is she worth... But no, perhaps you were the... There are bigger things. But she is not her. You return home to find the shadow of the one you once loved in a park. It has been years since you've met. She was popular, began drinking. Time has obscured her beauty and destroyed her personality. A kid and is trapped with a man who doesn't love her. She, that was so intrinsic to your being, is no longer recognizable. You were never good enough for anyone. You were never good enough for you.